Good evening, folks. For website members, the Space Weather Update is posted to the site. So there are a couple updates we wanted to share with everyone else, but we'll have to start by digging back into the past. Good morning, folks. Sprites, a relatively expanding topic of study. The scene here over Oklahoma. For those who don't need to Google what these are, consider this slowed down version. His camera is not upside down. I bet from space, that looked like a solar flare. Okay, back to present day. Clearly the point was that the energy was coming down from above. This can often be seen preceding solar flares in the electromagnetic fields above the sunspot, and our special website video due at the end of this month expands the idea of Earth spots. In 2013, we learned that solar wind affects the weather, and hypotheses across heliophysics about its potential to affect our upper atmospheric currents are abounding. We've spent years showing you the correlation between coronal holes and earthquakes, and Dr. Uyen just gave the storm correlation to space weather a large boost. And now we'll add another point of the Earth-Sun relationship. It appears the main method of storm charge up in order for discharge is external, extraplanetary, cosmic. Our Earth spots hypothesis involves the magnetic field lines carrying energy from the lightning upwards into space. And I'd imagine that's a pretty good funnel both ways for this energy. A fantastic update to this new field of study. I'd also like to toss in this bridging article. Bridging what? The gap between Eastern wisdom and Western medicine. We're seeing more and more of this. Anyone who's practiced or is educated in these things know you cannot capture anyone's experience in one paper. But I feel this is something that some members of our community might enjoy. Sunset in Columbus, Ohio, but my eyes were on the rising moon. See you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.